Welcome Shredders to the Puck Cordal vs. Tech Tool review. The question is, are these helmets worth the premium price tag? The answer is depends. Do you have the disposable income? The Specialized Tactic has the number one crash rating and it's cost less than both of these helmets. This helmet comes in at 37 on the list. So let me tell you how I got to the Cordal and not the Cordal race. So I was at my local bike store and I wore the Tech Tool race for like 20 minutes while I was shopping for stuff I didn't need. And I realized it was pretty uncomfortable. So then I put on the cheaper version. This is the Cordal and it doesn't have MIPS. I was looking on the reviews online. It looks like a lot of people are complaining about MIPS. So let's get into comparing these. The Cordal has a little bit more aerodynamic is where the Tectal round shape. The Cordal's one ounce heavier. I think the Cordal's better for people with a small head because it kind of sits higher up on your head. As where the Tectal sits farther down on your head. So if you don't have a huge head like me, this helmet is probably not gonna be that good. Gonna be that good. So the foam core on the Cordal is substantially thicker. That's probably why it's an ounce heavier. This one's a lot thinner. It took me about a month of wearing this one to realize that the Tectal is actually more comfortable on long rides. The advantage of the Cordal is it gains some e-bike rated safety rating. If you're interested in seeing this Tectal crash off a two-story building, watch this video up here on the right. 